Hi crafty friends, Crystal here again today and I've got a really fun haul to share with you guys. I've got my monthly subscription from Coco and Daisy and I want to unbox it. I saved it especially for y'all because uh, some of you guys said that you really enjoy hauls and I personally also really enjoy a good haul and so I decided I'm going to film some more. So here we are. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to film this every month. I don't want to quite commit to that, but I'm going to try. Um, no promises. You know, sometimes life gets busy and I won't be able to, but um, I'll try. And I'll tell you a little bit about Coco and Daisy. I'm not an expert by any means. I will have their um, website linked below. But as you can see here, these are 12 by 12 papers. Um, so I get the scrapbook kit, but Coco and Daisy actually started as a planner kit and like a planner subscription kit for, um, and I don't know if they started this way, but I know them through like traveler's notebooks and stuff like that. Um, traveler's notebooks and like insert, uh, planning. So I know they have a ton of really great options if you're into that for like any size, you know, whatever. It's like really customizable. They have like every size available, whatever. Um, and I had been a subscriber like back when I was a planner girl and the, the planner kits would come with like six by eight. I think they were like six by eight pieces of paper or maybe like an A4 or some, some size like that. Um, but I think it was this year they started doing scrapbook kits. And so I was like, um, yeah, <laughs> I need that because I, I always loved their kits. The reason I stopped subscribing was because I just stopped being a planner girl. And so I couldn't use a lot of the things, but like, obviously the artwork is incredible. So now that, um, they have some scrapbook ish, I was like, hails to the yeah. And I've been subscribed for a few months now. And um, it's only been around for a few months, the scrapbook kit. Anyways, okay. So I'll start with the washi. And so like I said, because it's only been around for a few months, it's not like super stable, I guess, what comes in the kit each month. But I also think that's kind of normal. Um, I don't think they keep it super consistent anyways. I think they kind of switch it up. Um, I do think there is always a washi tape, which... I shall swatch for you here. Cute. And I do know, um, cause you can subscribe to multiple kits and there are differences in the kits. There are some similarities. Like there's a ton of like the question and answer to pages on their website. Um, or you could just like email customer service. And I do know that they have a Facebook group cause honestly it can get confusing, like all the different customization options. Um, and I'm, I'm no expert. Um, but like, I do know if you subscribe to like the planner kit, not the scrapbook kit, the washi that you get will be different just as a heads up. But anyways, these are the two washies this month. Okay. So I've got some light over here. Do we like, like it changes? Oh, I don't like that one. I, okay. Yeah. The one that it was on is what we're going to go with. It is late at night right now. Or how late is it? Let's look. Oh, it's eight 30 and not even late, but it's nighttime. So, um, Bear with me with the lighting. Anyways, washi tapes. And then let's look at this. So really, really cute ephemera slash decor pieces. I will go ahead and spread them out a little bit. Oh, did I even say what the name of this was? Um, this card was the thing that said what the name was. It's called Autumn Thicket. And I will say um, another thing that's super awesome is like because it's planner based um everything is really like seasonal and it's always really ahead of the season so this was the September kit and as you can see it's like it's a very fall themed and it would it's for October it's the October so if you were to obviously subscribe for the planner kit you'd be getting October stuff that way you can like plan ahead and whatnot um yeah so it's always really on point cute little pieces of artwork. Oh, these are such good sizes too. Nice and small. And then I absolutely love that it comes with enamel dots. These ones are kind of glittery. Very nice. 
and autumn favorites. Oh my gosh, cute. Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes. Love these colors. Okay, this is cute. It's an anagram down the bottom or down the side. It says autumn, but then it also says leaves, nature, chestnuts, pumpkins, full moon, and flannel. That's really cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. I might, this would be like really cute to put in an actual journal page. I'm trying to get like real fancy. I mean, well, not trying, but like I have a lot of tools and things these days. In fact, I finally busted out my um, like big chomper. I've had this for a while. This is a, don't worry, my water bottle's closed. This is a total tangent, but I've had this for a while. I got it like on sale. I had a coupon from Michael's like forever ago. And I just like never use it, but this is my big hole puncher where like I could, I could really make some, some projects with this. And you know, maybe I could make like some cute, um, little journal notebook things or something. That would be really sweet. Uh, I am super excited for, um, fall crafting because it's my favorite season and I really, really, really want to make some time for it. Um, yeah, I want to make time for like baking and crafting and um because it's it's truly self-care for me and I've been sick and I haven't been like recovering well and speedily and so I really need to prioritize my self-care so here we are food adventures details of the meal so this would be really cute if you were like actually scrapbooking and um like took a photograph of dinner which okay <laughs> rewinding a little bit again these are scrapbook papers, obviously, but like I make cards mostly. Um, just if you're new here to my channel, hi, I usually make pen pal flip books and like snail mail card stiff, um, happy mail in general, but I do like, I'm married now, by the way. Wahaha. Oh my gosh. This is, oh my gosh. Wait, oh my gosh. I'm 11th place. This is my first video, um, since being married. I just got back from my honeymoon. We went on a cruise. It was fantastic. Um, we already like want to book another one. It was great. And, um, but yeah, like, you know, when we have kids and stuff, I feel like it would be super cute to scrapbook. And I, I feel like I should get started and get into the groove of scrapbooking and like get efficient with it before I have kids. Because like once I have kids, I probably won't have enough time to like figure out the intricacies of like how I like to do stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like, not that I couldn't figure it out, but just kind of like finding the groove and finding the mojo, you know, because I don't really want to be no shade, but like, I don't really want to be one of those people that is like back planning like Christmas 2021 when it's like Thanksgiving 2022. You know what I mean? Like, it's okay. I've been there before, but, um, I want to stay a little bit more like current with the seasons. <laughs> So anyways, food, oh gosh, so this would be perfect again. Gosh darn it, I'm gonna do it um, to make a little notebook thing and food photo here. Okay, let's go faster. There is no time like the present. Okay, actually, you know what? Let's not go faster, let's go slower. Nobody is telling me to go faster. I really, because I have a lot of like urgency in my job that I do <laughs> like every day, um, I've really internalized the need to rush and I mean, I do tend to like blather on. Um, so sometimes it is truly like, okay, get to the damn point, but also there's no need to rush. And I can always edit if I do like totally fumble something. Not that I particularly like to edit, but this is dang pretty and would make a really pretty collage or just a really pretty journal spot. No time like the present, oh, cute. Okay, all I need is a good book and a cup of cozy. I, ha I did read some books on my honeymoon and it was fantastic. My tea, all I need is a good, oh, that's the same thing. <laughs> um, and I finally, I was gonna start, but I haven't quite yet, the um, A Court of Thorns and Roses. Is that what it's called? It's, you know, if you know books um, and you're into like the fantasy genre, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's been around for a long time, but like I just never read it. Um, I didn't want to start it before they'd all been out. And then by the time they all got out, I was like really busy and just like didn't have time for books. Um, anyways, October stories, cute, cute, cute. Again, perfect for scrapbooking, pumpkin spice and everything nice. Okay. And these are very pretty. Oh yes. Autumn exists to remind us that 
Okay, sorry. Autumn makes us remind us that things must begin, end to begin again. I like that. These are really pretty. And, oh my goodness, I have it sitting right here. My pretty fall seam binding. Oh, this matches perfect. Oh my gosh, this is from My Scrap Cabin. Um, I'll try to link it below. It's an Etsy shop that, like, a lot of the... I feel like some of the big names in YouTube, <laughs> they get their uh, seam binding from my scrap cabin um, and they just, you know, put it on tags and cute things. And anyways, I jumped on the train and look at how perfect that matches. Gorgeous. All right. And here, okay. So that other piece or the other pack was totally the deco. This is the ephemera. I'm not going to keep this actually. Cause I'm just going to put it all back in the big bag. So like that little bag that this was in, not necessary. Okay. A warm cuppa. And that'll be super cute to put an eyelet through. Cause I did also, since we were talking about eyelets, um, it did go ahead and this is totally from the container store. Love the container store. Um, but I have, I bought like a set of warm eyelets and cool eyelets and if I really wanted to, I could have bought two and had like one bin for each color, but I was like, no, cause it's not that full at all. It'd be cool. You could do something to make the bin smaller, but I was like, no, no, no. And so I just doubled up and did like colors that were really different so that it would be very obvious when I'm trying to reach my little sausage fingers in there. Um, so perfect. Some of these oranges could go really nicely with this collection, but yeah, totally gonna put an eyelid in there. Use some of my cool seam binding. Love it. The details are just so, so, so pretty. Favorite things. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to make a pen pal flip book with this. Oh, wait a minute. Are these stickers? I think they are like they're die cut. Stickers. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, maybe they're not. No, I think they are. I think they are. Oh, okay. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. I'm struggling. Oh yes. Oh yes. It's a sticker. Okay, <laughs> cool. That's pretty rad. Love it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Let's. Blah, 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 blah. Put this back. These ones I will put back in the due day. Um, if I had a cookie sheet, which actually I could grab one, but nah, I don't think I will just yet because I have another fall cookie sheet sitting right next to me. Um, again, if anybody's new, I have kind of a cookie sheet like organizational system um, for the collection kits that I'm in the middle of using, and I'm in the middle of using another fall kit, and so since I'm like actually not busting this one out, we'll wait. These are like little hole reinforcement tabs, which guess what? I do have a punch for that, which is new. Um, yeah, it punches out little pieces of paper that look like this that you can then, you know, reinforce. Like if it was, if this was the right size, that you could reinforce the edge of a hole with. So that's what that is. And then we have some alphabet type script. Very nice. And we have some more alphabet. These are like uh, puffy stickers or thickers, if you will. It's a nice navy color. Okay, oops, there. And then we have a really pretty plaid piece of vellum. How big is this? Like a six by eight, I think. Um, let me see, I have a ruler around here somewhere. <laughs> just, we're gonna say it's six by eight. I swear I just had a ruler here, but whatevs. I don't know where it went. Okay, and we're finally gonna look at this beautiful chipboard. It's like chipboard phrases, pumpkin spice, and all things. I feel like the word nice needs to go there. Is there like, you know? I feel like I'll look for a word thing that says nice and we'll, we'll tack it on there. Autumn is a second spring when every leaf is a flower. That's really pretty. Love it. Okay, now on to the papers, which to me is arguably the best part. Okay. Gorgeous, darling, gorgeous. Ay, ay, ay. I just love these papers so much. Okay, so we get two of each, and I'm, we're gonna count the designs. I'm not quite sure how many there are. We're just gonna shove this to the side. Oh, I love this one too. <gasps> beautiful. Oh, beautiful, beautiful background. Ooh, okay, that'll make a nice like inside of something where you don't want it to be like too busy, and it's just a nice 
kind of reads as a solid. Yeah, really pretty. Ooh, mushrooms and snails. I really do love the mushroom aesthetic and I need to, I need to like organize all of my mushroom things into one pile, you know? I need, like that Rick and Morty scene, get all your shit, get all your shit all together and you put it in a backpack. Anyways, if you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> you let me know. And um, so I need to get all my mushroom shit together and I need to like make a mushroom meal because it's, yeah. Ooh, beautiful. Okay, some more plaid. Oh, fun, a tag cut apart page. Hopefully the back is cute. Ah, okay, it's not super exciting, but yeah, cause I probably don't need two of these. Although it might look nice cut apart and as a background of something, it would just kind of blend in cause they are kind of big, um, big images. Oh yeah, just like this big images that just kind of blend into the background. That is really pretty too. Very scrappy vibes. Oh, and again, yeah, just nice, like scrappy vintage vibes. Ooh, okay, love this one. See, this is a perfect scrapbooking scene where like the photo goes right here in the middle and like the paper has already done everything for you basically. Just add like a couple little dimensional elements and you're done, there's your scrapbooking. Ooh, pretty. But also this would look really pre pretty to like cut up and um, matte on a card or a flip book, really pretty. And I think it would also make a really good flip book where like we fold it in half this way and then we have three panels. Um, and that, that makes a four by six flip book. Like, do I have one second? Oh my gosh, actually I do. A flip book like this, I feel like this would be really, really pretty. You see where you fold it in half and then, yeah. I can link a tutorial below if you're interested. Leave me a link if you want, like literally this tutorial, actually, I can link it below. Um, yeah, this would be a really good piece of paper for this kind of one sheet wonder. Flat mail tutorial. All right, there you have it. The Coco and Daisy Autumn Thicket, is that what it was called? October um, kit, yeah, Autumn Thicket. How many sheets did we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, 12 sheets. Six designs to each sheet and you can buy extra of the sheets if you want I know you can buy like an extra pack of these and like a couple other add-on things you know like I said there's tons of customization that you can do if you are a planner girl um uh I do know that they tend to they sell out like every month because they're gorgeous so if there is a kit that or just Honestly, if you like the artwork and maybe you've been keeping your eye on it for like a couple months, you really just gotta be a subscriber if you want something because they really do just, they sell out. Um, so if you wanna be like guaranteed to get something, you really do have to subscribe. Um, and they also do like a seasonal, um, like a pre-order for kind of big holidays. They do a Halloween pre-order, a Christmas pre-order, and a Valentine's Day pre-order. Um, I didn't do the Halloween because I knew that I was just going to be real busy and I have some other stuff, but I did go ahead and do the Christmas pre-order because I just, I'm a big hoe for Christmas. Um, so anyways, and I've done the Valentine's one in the past. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll try to link some things below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi crafty friends, more haul. Uh, now I have hip kit. I just did Coco and Daisy September subscription. Now I've got hip kit September subscription. Um, and I will show you guys this card. Um, maybe pause the video if you want to read any of this lovely stuff. Uh, it tells you some of the benefits of being a subscriber. Um, I will say I don't really shop at hip kit. Like I don't really shop their website. Like it does say, you know, like, oh, additional, discounts and stuff like I don't shop extra other than the subscription like I just like have the subscription on order and I just kind of forget about it um but I will okay I will let you know I get the main kit which is this and then I do get the embellishment kit which is this one um and just like the uh Coco and Daisy one there are like add-ons that you can do like you can buy um the scrapbook papers separately and there's a couple other things i think you can buy i think they have something called a color kit which is i think like ink and stuff like that if you do more like mixed media um which i do like some of that but i also 
have a lot of that and I don't, yeah, um, I don't subscribe to that one. And they might have one other one, but they all coordinate. Um, and Hip Kit Club is specifically um, like scrapbook paper and like scrapbooking kits. It's not, and like card making, it's not planner related like the Coco and Daisy one was. Um, I mean, not that you couldn't, but whatever. Okay, so it looks like the theme is called It's a New Day. And um, something that I really like that Hip Kit Club has been doing is like creating their own kits. When they first started out, they were curated kits. So they were um, elements and papers and things that came from other brands like Simple Stories and stuff like that. Um, you know, Heidi Swap, etc. American Crafts. Um, and they like just put them all together in, you know, things and themes that matched. But now that they've become like bigger and more popular, um, they create their own kits and their own lines. And that's really what made me be a subscriber is the fact that it's like exclusive content, shall we say. Oh, goodness. Um, so, okay. And this is a monthly subscription, like I said. Um, I did, I was able to skip a month. Like, I think I skipped August. I was just like really busy and you know, just preparing for my wedding and I got sick and I just like didn't have a lot of time to craft and I didn't super love the, um, the kit because they did sneak it and I forget exactly. I think it was just really summer themed and I didn't want to add to my summer stuff. like. August is when I start fall crafting and I was like no 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 I don't want to add summer to my collection I'm trying to get summer out of my collection so I was just like no I won't have time to craft anymore summer um and I skipped it which was pretty chill like I just sent them an email and was like hey is it okay if I skip this month and they were like yeah and they did it um I will say I did that like right as the first of the month or like right after they sneaked it um, I don't really know quite what the policy is. Like I said, I did email it. It's not, I don't think there was an option to like go in and do it without actually talking to a person. Just so you know. Anyways. Okay. Enough talking. Let's start with the paper. Cause yeah, I love the paper. Okay. looks like we have one of each sheet, which, oh my gosh, bubble tea. I'm already loving the colors. This is very birthday themed in my mind. Very birthday. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, something I will say, I love their paper quality. It's very thick and it folds really well and you get like really crisp and nice projects. Um, it's very similar to pink fresh studio paper. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they get their stuff made at the same manufacturer. Like, you know, I have no idea how all of that works and like where this is actually made. Um, but just, you know, like judging by the backing and just, I don't know, some of the, the way it feels, I would not be surprised if they, it's made by the same people who make Pink Fresh Studio. Cute, cute, cute. This is called Carousel. Okay. I love these colors. Cute, um, yellow houndstooth print. Ice cream sundae. That's a fun retro pattern. All right. Look at these, um, dots on her. This is another detail that I like. Their branding strip is like a full half inch strip. So this is like an actual scrap that you can use to do stuff with like this side, you know, not really, but whatever, Why, you know, you would only be using one side of the scrap. Um, so that's cool. Ooh, imagination. That is really fun. That is, that is going to be fun. And even folded and cut, that's still going to be a really fun sheet. Woo. Polka dots. That, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just, I love a good floral. It's called journey. Oh yeah. I just want to stare at that for a second. Just take it in, take, go on the journey. Oh, that's fun. It's a maze. They have a, a maze on the back of the journey page. All right. I wonder if it's an actual maze. I bet it is. Don't want to take the time to solve it right now. If you do, um, there's the whole thing for you. So fun. Memory. Okay, fun abstract paper. Ooh, I love the gradient. Ooh, my neighbor's garden. I love this sheet. Fun geometric print on the back. Oh, silk throw, really pretty. Looks kind of like a uh, backgammon board. I don't actually know how to play backgammon, but you know, 
used to get them like for Christmas in random gift sets and you'd be like, oh, this is cool. Don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyone else? Just me? You know, speaking of games, this kind of looks like a game board. Little game piece. Sophomore. Interesting name. That looks like um, subway tile, doesn't it? it? This would be like a print or like um, a tile to go in a bathroom, <laughs> like a backsplash in a bathroom. Totally retro. I love it. Woo, superstar. I like that this is off center. It would be weird if it was right in the center. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. Really like that page. Just some nice boxes and a gradient. Thrift market. Oh, that's fun. Kind of a splashy pattern. Lines. So yeah, the, again, kind of like um, Pink Fresh Studio, the papers are like, or the patterns are kind of simple but with a lot, I don't know if that makes sense. Like there's a fair amount of like white space, but they're still very impactful. And that's the end. Oh, that's like a nice piece of chipboard. I think we'll save that. Where's, where's my stack of chipboard? I have a stack somewhere. We'll just stick it there. All right, weekend vibes, yeah. Okay, so that was all of the lovely paper. I'm gonna assume there were 12. Should I count them? No, I'm not going to. One of each design. Okay, and then lovely blue navy um, letters, puffy. And these are like, oh no, okay, they're chipboard. I was gonna say slightly puffy, but yeah, they're pretty hard, but they are dimensional. Nice phrases and things. I really like that. Um, hip kit clubs do tend to come with a lot of phrases because they are, you know, meant for scrapbooking. So lots of phrases. Okay. And then we have these really cute puffy heart stickers. I love these kinds of embellishments. And then we have, is this an ephemera or just cardstock die cut shapes? Oh, okay. I think I am gonna open this. Let's dump them out right here. Oh, there's a hot air balloon and a hedgehog. Cute, cute, cute. Frame, a frame. You light up my world. Cute, be happy. Oh, this V is really sweet. Nice desk stuff. Tag. Butter, butterfly? No, that's a feather. Be amazing. Another tag. Another frame. Mm, some uh, page tabs. I have been liking to use that kind of stuff. I'm trying to incorporate all these fun things. Ooh, I like that. I believe in you. Very nice. Nice set of ephemera there. And then while we're just making messes, why don't we dump out the cardstock floral shapes? Ooh, yes. Again, very Pink Fresh Studio-esque. Yeah. Oh my gosh, super pumped about this. Oh yeah, floral clusters. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Love it. Super pretty. Oh yeah, so retro and fun. And this I feel like is pretty seasonless. <laughs> like it's florals, so like florals don't really scream winter, but I feel like you can still send this any time of the year and it wouldn't be like super out of place. Like it's not super screaming of summer or screaming of spring. Um, like their colors are bright, but they're not like super neon or pastel. Um, yeah, really like that. All right, I'm just gonna leave it. Puffy butterflies, these are really, really sweet. I like that. And then frames, I've been having a lot of fun putting um, photos inside of my pen paling things, but also perfect for scrapbooking. Life is cool and so are you. Happy, happy, so very happy. Love it. Life is a gift to make today count really sweet stuff and then I love this one chipboard stickers this again oh did I say this came from the embellishment add-on so um I think this was the embellishment add-on too so that that other stuff over there was the main kit and then this was embellishment add-on so we have some more cardstock stickers um this is very um what am I trying to say uh scrapbooky or even like planner related nice 
These are so cute. I love the sloth. Okay. I feel like maybe I should use this for when, cause it does have some, look at that. There's a leaf. I could make it for fall. And also we're having like a sunny, uh, it's, it hasn't gone. Yeah. It hasn't gone full fall yet. And we're still having some sun. So maybe this will be just right for if my little niece comes over, which my sister and my niece, they really love sloths. And um, we're trying to find a time. It's been like such a busy time um, for them to come over and visit because they live like two, like an hour and a half away. So it's not like they can just, oh yeah, hop in the car and be here in 10 minutes kind of a thing. There is like a little bit of coordinating that has to be done. Um, and you know, wedding and I work the off shift and life and she's got two little ones now. So um, we're like scheduling a time to meet up sometime this month and um anyways I always try to take photos when I hang out with them because darn that child just grows so fast and I gotta document because she just gets she like doubles in size every time I see her it's wild um same with the baby oh my lord okay he's like like four months or five months old or something. And oh my God, Katrina said there's some clothes that he's, that she's putting him in that are like the 12 month size. And I'm like, no, no, no. What? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, my sister is six foot four. And so is her husband. That should tell you what you need to know. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a picture of this and, um, I guess we're done. I'm just talking now. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I will go ahead and link Hip Kit Club below. I'm excited to see what they come out with for the holidays. Um, I don't think, I haven't been a subscriber to them for that long. I don't think they do super seasonal and um, holiday specific. Like Coco and Daisy is very, very holiday or very seasonal specific. Actually, Maybe I should go back to that and make that caveat that Coco and Date Coco Daisy is very seasonal specific, but I think they're purposefully not holiday specific. And that's why they do the pre-orders for the holiday kits. Because I think they know that like not everybody celebrates Christmas and not everybody celebrates Halloween, but like everybody loves autumn, right? Um, so they keep the monthly kits seasonal themed and not um not holiday themed I think is the way they do it like don't quote me on that but I'm pretty darn sure um anyways and I'm not really sure about hip kit club we will see as the season progresses anyways I love you guys and I'll talk to you later bye